Hi, I'm Ryan Hunt, Technical Service Manager with FMC, covering the Northern Plains. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about kochia and what we've been learning over the last year or so here through the winter from 2022 to 2023 now as we get into uh, springtime planting, crops starting to come out of the ground. We've had a had a long spring here, so you can see there's some beans just popping through here. Um, down the way there's some wheat already getting a post application and about a mile south of me here there's there's guy there's a grower still still planting so the way the weather's been we've had quite the spring so we're still waiting to learn a lot more about what's going on but i want to talk a little bit about what we did learn over the winter partnering with north dakota state university and working with kosha we had some concerns in 2022 with some failures and some fields that got a little Little full kochia, weren't sure why, typically should have been controlled. So we went and took some samples, um, brought them to NDSU. They ran their greenhouse studies, uh, you know, trying to check for resistance. The big word we never want to hear and scares us. Well, they tested rates that should typically kill them in the field all the way up to five, six, 10x what we should use. And some of these plants survived. So there is confirmed resistance here. Now, that main testing and resistance that was found was to the foliar applications of these group 14s and PPOs, such as carfentrazone, saflufenicil, among others. There were also some group 14 PPO inhibitors applied foliarly that were still working on the kochia. So I'd suggest you go to that NDSU crop and pest report that was published at the beginning of May, 2023 here. Um, Dr. Joel Eichley does a great job breaking down which products worked, which products have the resistance, and where we go from here. Um, the great thing to see was sulfentrazone, our soiled applied group 14 product, that's the base in our Spartan brands and Authority brands, was still working pretty well um, across these things. Now, these samples were taken from really across the state, anywhere from the central part of the state all the way to the northwest corner to the southwest corner of North Dakota. Um, that being said, I think in the next few years, we can safely say the way kochia turns into tumbleweeds and blows across the countryside, this foliar resistance is going to be an issue probably across the entire northern plains, kind of like how the glyphosate resistance issue with it blew up about eight to ten years ago. Um, with that sulfentrazone still working, though, we really, really want to protect that. So we need to make sure we're adding different modes of action into our burn down to kill what's there. And also some residual products to our sulfentrazone zone just to really help out. That's where a product like Authority Supreme or Authority Edge comes in key uh, with that Perox cell phone in there. Giving it a nice little bump, helping it out a little bit, get a good rain on it. Um, but our best, best plan and best recommendation right now that we can give you is to take that Peroxa cell phone and put it out there in the fall time post harvest. Now Anthem Flex is going to be your perfect herbicide for this. It's got a wide variety of crops labeled for it that you can come and plant back in your springtime. Uh, you're going to want to wait till the soils are about 55 degrees or less but not frozen. Go out there throw about four to six ounces depending on what crop you're coming back to, depending on your soil types, all that you know, get in touch with your local agronomists. They can get in touch with myself or one of my colleagues and we can really get you dialed in on the right rate, but it's gonna get you a good base foundation for that kochia control. It's also gonna add pigweed species. It's gonna be lights out on water hemp, Palmer amaranth if you have that, um, green and yellow foxtail. There's some group one and two resistance out there documented for a few years of that pigeon grass or green foxtail too that it's gonna also really help you on. So it's gonna be money well spent. And then depending on the crop, you can come back in the fall with your Spartan or Authority brand of choice and really, really get that basically overlapping residual well into the season to help take care of this kochia and really help prevent us losing the soil applied PPOs. Um, that's really our best case right now, fix and scenario. But I will tell you that we are a research and development company, so we're dumping millions of dollars into R&D every year. And now that this has happened, we're really looking into this kosher thing. We always have, but there's really a microscope on it now. We've got some things in the pipeline 
that look really, really nice and could have some big hits out here. That will be a different mode of action, novel chemistries for these different crops that we're growing, crops in northern plains, and could really, really save us here. Problem is going to be they're a few years out, so we need to bridge the gap. That's where we want to start to use that Group 15 Peroxisulfone Anthem Flex out there in the fall application. So we get that good activation from the winter moisture, gets us started in the spring, less to burn off with the foliar PPOs now working, get a good clean field, get that Sulfentrazone brand, your Spartan or Authority, whatever flavor you like of those, and really work into the season and keep that stuff out. Um, well, like I said, we are definitely putting in more and more time here looking at this kochia and trying to find a real, real key win for you, but it's going to be a few years. Um, and if you want more information from any of us, you can go to egg.fmc.com and see some, some different insights on the labels, what's labeled where, what you can use, different rates. Or reach out to your local retailer, agronomist consultant, and have them get a hold of myself or uh, one of our retail market managers, and we can really get you dialed in on an exact specific plan per field on your farm to help take care of this kochia. And I'd also like to refer you to some of the North Coast State University researchers. They've been key and instrumental in helping us with this. Um, they've got some very good thoughts too. Um, and really go back and look at that NDSU crop and pest report from the beginning of May 2023 here, because like I said earlier, Dr. Eichley did a great job explaining what's going on, what's working, what's not. Um, there's quite a few things that aren't working, but there's still some that are working, like our self enter zone, and that's why we need to be vigilant on protecting that molecule because it is so widespread um, across, across the land, the Spartan Acres and Authority brands, that we need to protect it as much as we can and not speed this problem up um, so that we can get a few years down the road where our pipeline will finally kick in and we'll have some new labeled products to really help you guys keep this, these fields clean. With that, I uh, wish you a successful growing season and be safe out there. Thank you.